Good morning everyone, welcome to FL Powell and Sons Farming Diary. Today we are getting the yard ready for some of the Gloucesters to go out um, to make some more room in our livestock shed as we're receiving a delivery of 30 wean calves uh, this coming week. So here we are uh, scraping the yard out and getting some rails ready to make uh, another plan and then effectively um, splitting it into two. This little red tractor here is called an Agramahanica. It's an alpine all-terrain tractor and was made initially, I believe, for the vineyards uh, in Italy. It was small enough to go up and down the banks, but over here it's absolutely perfect for our banky fields during the summer on a flail. Now we use it on our scraper um, and it's absolutely perfect. This is manoeuvrable and a pivot steer. Our idea is to split this cattle yard into two so that the Gloucesters that are grazing the field behind can come in and eat their hay out of the rack and the Gloucesters that are in the shed that have not long calved can come out um, and enjoy a little bit of fresh air. Our initial worry is that the calves would be too small to come out. They're four months old, but have never been outside before. I've spoke to my vet and he assures me that they should be okay, being that the weather is fairly mild at the moment. This is a Ritchie scraper that we bought a couple of years ago. Uh, we had to modify it to fit on a category one linkage, but before we bought this, we were doing it all by hand with brushes, shovels, and a push scraper into the front bucket of the loader tractor. So this is an absolute godsend. scrape to our manure heap at the end there. Once that's full we then move it to the fields that we're then going to spread as soon as we can get onto the land. We just popped off in the truck to find some blocks because our idea is to put a water trough in the corner of this yard. There's currently a standpipe so I'm just going to tap into it and install a small trough that the cows can drink out of. Cows currently drink from a water trough inside the livestock shed, but as their pen is being slightly reduced to make a slightly bigger pen for the incoming wean calves, we have to provide them with an, another water source, so hence the reason for another trough. Our idea is to stack some blocks enough just to give the trough a little bit of height uh, and then put the trough on top of these blocks. Then hopefully they won't muck in it, fingers crossed. As we've not removed their water source from inside the shed, there's no need to finish this today. But we're keen to get them out, so our next job is to move the cake trough and then go and get some hurdles and divide the yard into two.
Back with the hurdles now, this is one of the best investments we've made on the farm. These are IAE hurdles and I think they're about four, five foot high. Um, that's actually a small gate, but we've bought some slightly longer ones and they are unbelievably great for handling cattle. <laughs> These hurdles here are the slightly longer ones and we've got a few of these. Whether we're making a pen in a field to load cattle to bring them to another one or load them into a cattle box or dividing yards or sheds, they're just great. I think uh, we will be investing in some more if we can. Each gate comes with a set of pins that join them together so the cattle can't be chewing anything or accidentally undoing anything more to the point. So here I'm just grabbing one of our New Zealand gate latches, which is just a chain with a latch on the end. And we use these instead of using baler string, uh, as we found that cows have a knack of undoing it. I've just popped round the corner to grab some straw. Now, when we built this yard, I was convinced by the contractor that it wasn't a good idea to have slats and very stupidly, I went along with it. Um, when I mean slats, I mean grooves in the concrete to stop the cow slipping. So this is a smooth surface. So putting a bit of uh, straw down just gives some traction because as the cows come out, they've got to turn immediately right into the yard. So just a little bit of straw adds uh, a little bit of traction. Me and Dad just discussing there where to put their troughs. Now, as I said in my previous video, we don't normally feed the suckler cows any hard food at all, um, mainly because we feed a grass baits diet. But as the suckler cows were suffering a little bit in terms of their energy, we were advised to increase their mineral and trace element content in the form of beef nuts. So we're just finding a home for their troughs. Out come the girls and this is their first time really being outside after they've calved in September. The girls are used to being outside but their little ones aren't. So there we have it, the girls are outside and they seem pretty content. We'll come back later in the day just to check that they're happy and keep an eye on them.
that cow the other side of the rails there is Evening Beauty and she was our first ever Gloucester calf born on the farm a couple of years ago. She's joining the outside group so has just popped in to say hello to her mates. I filmed this clip the following day and everyone looks pretty content to me. So thank you so much for watching FL Pownlinson's Farming Diary and we hope to see you again soon.